the energy mix of Porto Santo is mainly uh, fuel and diesel and they have a penetration of uh, wind and solar for 15% only. So if they want to go uh, further and if you, they want to achieve uh, up to 90% or 100% of green energy, uh, they need to put more solar, more wind. The problem with solar and uh, wind production is that they are intermittent. When there is no wind, you don't have any production. When there is no sun during the night or when a cloud is passing, you don't have enough, in, enough energy. take energy from the grid. Vehicle to grid EVs or V2G are different because they can't only take energy, but they can also feed it back into the grid and act as mobile storages during the time they are parked. During daytime, when the sun is shining and the wind is blowing, and there is a lot of energy available, the electric vehicles charge. When there is a lack of renewable energy, the V2G EVs feed back energy into the grid, so do the stationary storages. When you have a extra energy uh, from renewables, we can store that energy in the, in, in the batteries. The main objective is to regulate voltage and also to maximize the integration of uh, renewable energies. This global project intends to transform Porto Santo in the ter into a territory near zero carbon dioxide e emissions aiming to guarantee in the medium and long term environmental, social and economic sustainability. The concept that we have demonstrated can be applied actually everywhere, in uh, smart cities, but also in smarter neighborhoods, in smaller areas. So it can really be applied in our real life. Renault is uh, convinced that electri electric mobility is a key driver of energy transition. So launching this, uh, this actually first uh, smart uh, island for us was, it was important to demonstrate what we are believing in. <laughs>